how important do you think it is for the leader to have the sort of functional experience, the sector experience of the organisation they're, they're leading? Or I guess to phrase the question in, in the opposite way, if one is a very competent leader, could you successfully lead an organisation that is, I don't know, producing and making baked beans as you could lead a professional body or a group of, of law law firms or something? How, how important is that functional expertise, do you think? Um, I think it can help and it can be hindrance. To be honest, if you're too steeped into it, sometimes it can get in the way and you're not letting the others, the experts, do their job. But I think above everything else, you need a passion for what you're doing. You need to feel really, really passionate about it, whatever that is. And it's really interesting because we've had these discussions as our team and all the rest of it. And somebody said to me, that it's my passion that came across all the time And because I was a swimmer. So I'm passionate. My chief financial officer said, she'd be that passionate if we were doing tiddlywinks because that's her. So it, it was a difficult blend. I'm like, and then I said to somebody the other day, because I'm retiring at the end of the year, and we'll go out looking for my successor. And I've been talking to other people about, are you interested in my role and things? And somebody who I thought would be really good for the role said, no, I'm not. <laughs> Excuse me. And I said, why? why? What, what's not at my job? <laughs> anyway, I'm not that passionate about swimming. I'm more passionate about outdoor sport, and that's where I want to spend my life. So I don't think it's about the knowledge, but I do think it's about the passion. And if, you, if you're making baked beans, you've got to care that you're making the best baked beans in the world. If you don't give a blow whether those baked beans are good or bad, you won't be a great leader. So if we keep going with the, with the baked bean analogy, because it's probably quite a, quite, quite, quite a simple one. Um, <laughs> let's say for argument's sake, you personally were recruiting for a new CEO of um, XY Baked Bean Company, and you've got two, two candidates one has got a proven track record of, of leadership and one has worked for the other world's leading baked bean company. Like, which one would you go for? The one that I thought was best with people. So side by side, which one had most affinity with people? Because the baked beans is important. You've got to care about them, but you only care about them if you bring the people along with you and that. So if you're a ruthless, best baked bean in the world, but I don't care how it's made and everybody's going to work, 80 hours a, a week and I don't care about them. That's not the right person. So it's passionate about beans, but passionate about people. 